Hey guys, this is going to be a review of The Shadow Cabinet by Marine Johnson, which is the third Shades of London book. I also have to say that this is the best of the series so far. I am so in love with this book, like so ridiculously in love with this book. The second book I said in my review that I did recently that it felt very much like a bridge to me between the first and the third book. Like, it was shorter than this one. I have the first one at home, so I don't actually know what its length is compared to these two. But the second one is, like, significantly shorter than this one. And, um, it just felt like a lot happened. Like, a lot did happen in that book, but it all felt like build up to something else. So even though plenty happened, um, there was very little, like, resolution, um, and very little, because there's not much resolution in this book either, because there are more books after this, and so, but I do feel like there's more resolution in this one than the second one, and there just felt, like, more all around in this one, and it felt like it stood on its own as a book more than the second one, and I just loved it every bit of this book. I have to talk about the romance a bit because I said in my review for the second one that I couldn't exactly remember when reading the first one if I suspected that anything was going to happen between Rory and Steven and I still don't. I still haven't reread the first one because like I said it's at home and I can't um, and I don't remember what reaction I had or what I thought. I haven't even gone back to like look at my old review of the first book. But I said in my review for the second book that I really thought I wanted Rory with Steven now and not Jerome. And this book completely solidified that for me. I ship Rory and Steven so much. Like I really like Jerome. I really do like Jerome. But I don't want... Rory with him because her and Steven, I just, I love them together and I can't even really pinpoint for you what it is exactly, um, but I really loved the development between them in this book and I just really loved it, but I also want more with that because that's one of the things that's not like entirely resolved in this book and I cannot wait for the fourth book to see where that goes. Guys, the scene in here, this is a bit of a spoiler because I think this comes later in the book although I don't remember the exact place, but the scene in here when Rory starts having a panic attack and Steven starts talking to her and gets her to hold his hand, I, that scene, that scene was like the best scene. I just, I'm so in love with that scene and at that point I was like, okay, yes, you two have to be together or I will be very angry. We also learn more about the cult stuff in here because everything with the cult was really pretty vague in the second book. I'm pretty sure I talked about in my review about how I just still didn't fully understand it, didn't fully get it. I think we knew that it had something to do with like Demeter and like Greek mythology and obviously human sacrifices played a role but in this book we do learn more. We get more backstory on the cult and how um, the twins kind of created it and kind of a little bit more of what they're trying to accomplish and I think like a better idea of Jane and um, everything which okay spoiler again the, the when they killed Jane and talked about she was basically like a pawn to them it felt oddly satisfying because you know like Jane was so gung-ho about things and like we're doing something great here, we're doing something that will like better the world and whatever, and then to um, have them kill her and be like, yeah, you were completely wrong, your friends are just crazy and just killing people because she like had rationalized the other murders, she didn't expect them to murder her, but of course they're okay murdering her because like they murdered 10 other people and so I felt like it felt oddly satisfying to see that happen even though it was bad because it was like well see 
like you've been rationalizing these things and it's stupid and now you're dead because of that but at the same time now the twins are alive and walking around earth being terrible people and really really freaky people they well, that's one thing with this book you finally get to like really see the twins in more than like a flashback and even though it's a book you can just picture how creepy they're acting in your head like just from their lines and like what information you have about how they move and things like it is definitely enough that you have this like clear picture of them that's just really really unnerving like just you can imagine how if you met people like that in real life and they were acting like that you would be kind of you'd like want to back away get away as quickly as possible and after this book i really do wonder how many books are going to be in the series um because i don't know if we have a number i know there's going to be a fourth one i don't know if there's going to be books beyond that i feel like with i was so confused going into the second book about how the series would be continued like what could possibly happen after the first one and yet it's really worked especially in this one so i feel like with that like the way that the story like morphed and things gives the series the potential to go on for kind of a long time like if it kept changing and which i would be okay with if they kept this up for that the length of the series but i also really want rory and steven to be together sooner rather than later and also boo and callum who kind of got put on the back burner i feel like boo and callum both got put on the back burner as both characters and then like their relationship in here they've had like very very little development in either the second or third book i feel like they're hardly there even Obviously, Jazza has hardly been there at all. A bit understandable considering things, but it's surprising how little Boo and Callum have really been in the third book. And so I hope we get more of them in the fourth book. I would really appreciate that. I also hope we get some resolution with Rory and Steven's relationship in the fourth book. I would really appreciate that. Also, I was not expecting Rory to not remember the ceremony. That was really surprising and it kind of came out of nowhere because, you know, they come back from the ceremony and I just assumed that they both remembered it and then um, at one point Stephen asked Rory if she remembers and she says that she doesn't and I was like oh okay um which is weird because it wasn't presented like that in the book until then and then you find out that Rory didn't remember but I also at the same time can't figure out if they do actually remember or if Rory was lying because I don't know why she would have. I didn't really see her as having motivation to lie so I'm assuming she really doesn't remember um, but it was interesting because it wasn't brought up that she didn't remember until later and that also makes me kind of sad because I really liked the stuff between Rory and Steven when they were in that weird world. Of course Rory found out that Steven was in the shadow cabinet when they were in that weird place and if she doesn't remember that then she has no memory of that and so I don't it's it's strange because now we've watched it play out once where she learns that Stephen's in like a different secret organization and now she's gonna have to find out again I mean she's either gonna have to find out again or she's gonna be in the dark forever but I don't feel like that's going to happen like I feel like at some point it's going to have to come out to not just Rory but Boo and Callum that Steven is in a different secret organization like I just feel like the story can't end with him still having that secret maybe it will though um and I just find it interesting that Rory conveniently forgot it and so presumably there's going to be like another storyline where she finds out even though she already found out. I really am so excited for the fourth one though like I want to read it so badly. I cannot stop thinking about this book. I have been thinking about this book obsessively since I finished it um, which was four or five days ago I feel like maybe. I don't know at this point but I've it's pretty much been all I'm thinking about anymore 
and I really, really loved it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to the fourth book, and we have a while to wait and probably even longer until I get around to reading it, but I'm really happy with how this series is going, so I can't wait to see what happens next, but I will see you guys later. Bye!